Lotto was throwing subliminal disses from a song aimed at Nikki, and the lyrics were, I got a question, why they hating on me? I ain't did nothing to him but count this money and put my team on, now my whole cleat, stunting boy, what's up? Okay, now I'm assuming that those are lyrics from a song because I think at this point, if Lotto is beefing with Nikki, she is beefing by herself. The song that she, you know, made about imaginary smoke, that was about her because Nikki ain't responding to Lotto. And I think at this point, the only reason Lotto has a little bit of clout is because of the whole Nikki beef when she and Nikki were going back and forth. That's the only reason why Lotto has some sort of relevancy. Plus, she did that song with Cardi B. OK, at the end of the day, I think most of these girls, they wouldn't get a chance in the industry if they didn't beef with Nikki. That's the only thing that helped their careers. And I think this is a very scary road for Lotto because she's very young within the industry and she just started out. I don't care if she had a hit or whatnot, but Nikki's fan base is very astounding and immaculate and huge in numbers. And so far, Lotto has been getting a lot of pressure from the industry and people are apparently creating this hatred for her because she disrespected Nicki Minaj and Nicki is one of the most respected female rapper within the industry so now Lotto is facing a whole lot of backlash what made it worse is when she did a put it on the floor remix with Cardi B now everyone was like oh so you're beefing with Nicki and now you choose to do a song with Cardi B because Nicki won't give you that feature so everyone was like Lotto was just hurt she was a bar but now she isn't because Nikki won't give you a feature and most of these girls are somewhat pissed because they think they are a barb they deserve a song from Nicki Minaj and Nicki most of the times is like but your songs are great without me go be great you don't need my approval with a feature to say oh you did a song with your legend icon you know Go be great without me. And I think Nikki is not wrong because like she's not obligated to help people's careers. Like it is what it is. Like I could love Beyonce and if I'm a fashion designer and Beyonce chose not to work with me, why would I be mad? It's her choice. Even though she, you know, congratulates me and she posts about me and she talks nice things about me. At the end of the day, it's still up to her to do business with me. So I think most of these rap girls are very immature, very naive, and they don't see the bigger picture. They think everyone is obligated to them. And that's wrong. And now, they're slowly messing up their careers because they're creating this beef because they think someone has to do a feature with them. Like someone has to put them on a song. And if they want Nikki on a song and Nikki say no, they're upset. And now they want to be a part of the Nikki hate train, which is very whack. You know, go be great with your songs. Build your platform. Leave Nikki alone period and i think cardi cardi b was actually a fan still is a fan okay at this point i think if you're a barb you'll always be a barb no matter how you're trying to beef with nikki you will always be a barb now this is my opinion i think people paid cardi b to create this beef with nikki okay i'm not saying it's facts i'm just saying it's alleged it's it's my opinion, okay? But let me know what y'all think about Lotto sending subliminal disses aimed at Nicki Minaj. Let me see those comments and see y'all next time. And thank you for sipping with us.